what it looks like has happened is uh, guys come up edge of the house underneath, broken in and come up some internal stairs. We're looking at uh, hopefully a five day turnaround time for this evidence as it is a homicide scene. Now we can see here that there's a number of different types of blood stains and from each of these different types of blood stains we can ascertain different things about what actually took place and sometimes bits and pieces about the actual offender. Well the fingerprint we found here for example, um, on the cupboard door, what I've done is placed a barcode next to it so that we can use it for scaling, for searching and I've obtained a digital photograph of that, remove the SD card from the camera and place it into the tough book and that will be relayed straight back to the fingerprint bureau for searching on the AFIS system. Uh, this shirt is the offender's shirt so that's going to be uh, an area of importance to us because um, we get quite good DNA results from around the collar. So what's real and what's not? And what's changed in forensics in the last 10 years? Come with me and let's find out.